And welcome back again. So what is this? So I'll, I'll give you the story. This is a, I don't even know. Yesterday was so frustrating. I, sometimes I just wish I, I didn't do this type of work and had to rely on other people to get us the parts that we need. So we got a 2010 Honda CRV. Mileage is, oh, I didn't want to do that. 122.326, so fairly low mileage. Uh, in my frustrations yesterday, I kind of got aggravated. So this lady stops up, talks to Rachel, hey, I was at Jiffy Lube, they scanned my car, I need a converter, it's hissing real bad. Rachel's experience is already knows that if your car is hissing real bad, uh, you have a clogged catalytic converter or restricted exhaust system. This is like 3.30 that she shows up. Um, she says, can we get this job done? I'm like, well, that system has two catalytic converters. And if it's hissing, that usually means that she needs both. So uh, I get the car in the shop. I start it up. It's, it's hissing real bad. I don't even need to pull the codes. I already know there's a clogged converter or restricted exhaust system. Um, I start cutting down the back converter. And it's full of catalysts. And this is what some people don't realize. When you have two catalytic converters in your system if one's bad so this is the catchers or cleanup cat which is on the bottom of your CRV the other one is up on the exhaust manifold so if you have two catalytic converters and one's bad the other one's bad too so you can see the brick in there is missing let's get out of the light missing I can't get into the top there, but it seems like it's running lean on the air fuel ratio based on the soot that I see there. See that? So it's black to, to white. So the, the, the mixture is probably attached a lean. Um, let's see what the O2 sensor looks like. There you go. She's lean as F. Super lean. Is that because the exhaust system is restricted and she's been driving around for so long? I don't know yet because I need to get into this, figure out why the converter failed and why the O2 sensor is so white. She said that she had a tune-up done uh, before this happened. So did she have a misfire that created this problem? I don't know. We don't know the history of this. And this is why people shouldn't hop from shop to shop to shop to shop. Jiffy Lube, Valvoline, Quick Lube, Honda Dealer, Meineke, Pep Boys. Stick with one service provider. It's, it's, it's that simple. And then your, your guy who's doing heavy or serious issues or diagnostic work knows your car. So now this is a guessing game for me. So now I need to restore the vehicle. I need to get two catalytic converters on here, run the car, and see what's going on. Uh, is, was it the chicken before the egg or the egg before the chicken? We don't know yet. A lot of people come in and say, I just need one converter. It's not the case. If you have two converters in the same exhaust flow that are, have a problem, you need two converters. You may not want to spend for two converters, but that's the way that it is. Can you just do one? You can, but what happens with the back one's jacked up? Uh, but we have that all the time when people come in and say, oh, I just need the back converter, my engine light's on. Well, that's not even checked by the computer, so you're close, but you're not, you're, you know, you're so far. Um, but did the misfire cause this catalytic converter to fail and then blow apart and flow downstream and plug the back converter? I don't know the answer to that. It'd be very, very odd on a Honda around this mileage to have a misfire problem. But is it possible? Sure. Um, something happened. I have an overly lean exhaust condition, which could be that the engine couldn't breathe uh, and the fuel trim leaned it all the way out because it was trying to stay running. I don't, I don't know. Because it can only enrich it up so much before it has to pull for, fuel out of it. Um, yeah, so let's see how this goes. It's Saturday morning. We're only here for a few hours. Um, Jude hopefully has the Tahoe nailed down. Um, and we'll get that out of her hair. And then on to the next headaches for us. Thanks for watching.